Tonight we're learning more about a man charged with assaulting a security officer with Pittsburgh Public Schools. Erica Stanish has more on what happened and what the suspect's lawyer is saying. Erica. Kevin McSwiggin's attorney tells me that his client denies all allegations against him and says it was actually Pittsburgh police that assaulted McSwiggin. And his attorney went on to tell me that he believes this all stems from an incident that happened a few weeks ago on school property. I'm surprised. He doesn't seem like that type of guy to get arrested like that. Kevin McSwiggin is behind bars after police say he went to the Pittsburgh Public School Administration building Monday and refused to leave when he was denied the chance to speak with the superintendent. According to a criminal complaint, police say McSwiggins assaulted several officers before he was escorted out in handcuffs. We asked the district what he wanted to talk to the superintendent about, but never got an answer. But some parents at Greenfield Elementary says it's tied to an incident that happened there last month. A couple weeks ago, allegedly somebody pulled a gun out on him. He called 911. The police showed up, and I don't know what the administration and the police talked about, but they kicked them both off the property. They're not allowed on the property. McSwiggins has a son that goes to the school, and parents say since that incident, McSwiggins has been pushing for more safety measures to keep students safe. He's always trying to better, his son goes to school here, tries to better the school for him. I know that, he talks about that. KDKA asked Pittsburgh Public Schools if there was an incident with a weapon on school property last month. They said they were unable to release any details, but said McSwiggins has been banned from the elementary school for exhibiting behavior that would jeopardize the safety and welfare of students. Meanwhile, McSwiggins' mother tells KDKA he's a kind father who is known to go the extra mile for children to make sure they're safe. His attorney says he plans to collect all the necessary evidence to review before moving forward. In the meantime, McSwiggin is awaiting a preliminary hearing that's scheduled for April 11th. Erica Stanish, KDK News.